I'm just going to lower the volume here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic Online, the gathering, dot internet, slash turtles. Uh, I have a bit of a headache today, and I'm also feeling mildly sick. Not totally sick, but just like a little bit of a... I don't know. Stuffy, like a head cold, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's what that was. That's what was causing the delay today, and it's also it was also uh, looking pretty gloomy outside. So I wanted to uh, make sure this draft wouldn't go down while we were in the middle of it, based on weather conditions. I'm not really congested. I just have that like general like weird feeling. My nose is super clear. My throat is clear. I'm going to take this Sphinx's Revelation, I believe. So we can not cast it at the appropriate time. Bloodbraid Elf also pretty good. Buried Alive catches me eye. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. My only problem with Bloodbraid Elf and cubes like this is that a lot of times you have a bunch of cards. Like, if you hit a removal spell and they don't have a guy, it's kind of sad. If you hit a counter spell and they don't have a guy, you know, you like you said, it doesn't matter if they have a guy, I guess, in that situation. But if you hit a counter spell and then it just goes to the graveyard. I think it's probably Sphinx's Revelation here. Hmm. Do we get rewarded with anything? A Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. I don't think that's a reward. I think Sea Chrome Coast is probably a reward. Scalding Tarn's probably a reward. I bet a Kaiga or a Dissipate comes back. I think it's probably Scalding Tarn. <clears throat> Matthew Ori, file for compensation. Just redo. Get a do-over. I'm going to take the Scalding Tarn. Hmm. Supreme Verdict, eh? Ooh, Elspeth's Sun's Champion. Now we're, now we're talking. Maybe this Verdict comes back, but Elspeth's really where you want to be. Now we're just playing Theros Ravnica block standard. <laughs> uh, you can play the league out if you want to. Like, there's no reason not to. You could get some play points out of it, but they should refund you for that. So, that is up to you. Armageddon, Riftwing Cloud Skate, Karmic Guide is interesting. I think it's probably Riftwing Cloud Skate here. I don't like Nightfield Spectre in uh, non blue black decks. It's just a little hard to cast. We're going to take the Cloud Skate. I mean, there's no sense of having uh, red cards in this deck. Scalding Carnage is just a way to get a blue mana, or if we get a dual land. Probably just taking the Gotham, huh? Eh, let's get him. I like a four spike. I like getting him. What up, Gamma Set? <clears throat> I've never understood that reference. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I 
Approach of the Second Sun. That's interesting. I think Cyclonic Rift is just a better card here. By a pretty sizable margin as well. Lucas Winter, I'm not sure if you can subscribe for mobile. Um, Maybe someone in chat will know better than I would. Marshall Coup? All right. Oblivion Ring? All right. This deck is looking great so far. I think if you I think you can do it from a browser, like if you go to your browser. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know. Subscribing on Twitch should definitely be easier than it is. That's my that's my opinion on it. Thalia seems terrible for our deck. Riff Flicker Wisp could be good. We have Riff Wing Cloud Skate or we can negative Elspeth and then Flicker Wisp. Reset our target here. We could also take advantage in case we get a red card that we want to play. I want to take the Wisp. I think it's probably better here. Oh, the Ajani came back? Well, that's actually pretty okay. Student of Warfare. I'm going to take the Relic of Progenitus. Karma Guide came back. I was actually hoping for that one. I was not expecting it, though. <clears throat> oh, the approach came back. This is all very interesting. No beats. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, cryptic command? All right. Now we're talking. <clears throat> I'm going to take Cryptic Command here. And you guys probably uh, knew that. Phantasmal Mage is great. Windbrisk Heights is great. I'm not a big Hollowed Spirit Keeper fan. And we're also going to take every... Oh, it's your boy. We're going to take every blue-white fixing land we can get our hands on at this point. Ideally, like Seeker or... Uh, Nimble Obstructionist comes back. I'm not a huge Terminus fan, but... This is one of the best removal spells as far as I'm concerned. It deals with all the, the problematic cards like True Dame Nemesis and things. I'm going to take that. <clears throat> Our mana is going to be the only real issue, I think, so... I actually did not open a Teferi. We got past the Teferi, so... That is... Uh... <clears throat> Slightly different. J Spellerin's good. I don't know if I want to double blue that early, but we do have Cryptic Command already. Good lord. It's got to be Jace, maybe. Oh, Arcane Artisan is in here. That's interesting. So I can draw. I can pay three and tap this. I can draw a card, then exile. Let's say a Bane Slayer Angel, right? And then if we, then we get to ex, then we get to make a copy of the Bane Slayer Angel. That's interesting. I think it's probably just Elspeth here. <coughs> I'm waiting for the lands here, guys. I'm waiting for the lands. Solemn Simulacrum is actually probably great for us. I like Sun Titan, but. I especially like Sun Titan with Jace, but I really just want to be able to get a a little fixing here. Seagate Oracle is also probably good. 
It just takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two cards are coming back. I imagine it's uh, Nykthos and Bestiary. Those are my guesses. But if Forsake comes back, I'll be grateful. This is actually a difficult pick. <clears throat> I'm gonna take Sun Titan. We don't have that many late game like beefy boys. Wrath of God could be good here. I'm probably not gonna play Selfless Spirit. Like we have a lot of Planeswalkers right now. I do like Control Magic as well. Hmm. 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 I don't know. This is a tough pick. Oh, we also have Martial Coup. I'm going to take the Control Magic. Considering we have Martial Coup already, and we also have Elspeth to clear the to clear the board of threatening things. And we also have Cyclonic Rift, which is also similar. <clears throat> All of these things are the same. I actually like <clears throat> I actually like Plateau here a lot because it lets our Scalding Tarn get a white or a blue. Phantasm, which is very good. Especially with Sun Titan. So now we have the perfect, like, the things you want with Sun Titan are Jace, Bellerin, and Phantasm, which because you can uh, keep negativing Jace, get it back with Sun Titan. I could see playing this. We can also make our guys indestructible for Martial Coup, but. Flicker Wisp is good with this, with this, with this. All right, Seeker of the Way came back, which is pretty good. Um, with Jace, maybe. <clears throat> mm, that's fine. Yeah, Flicker Wisp is actually pretty good here. Lyra, Spell Queller, Thing in the Ice, and, and even Sword of Feast and Famine is very, very good. Lucas Winter, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the effort. That is a lot of effort to put into uh, supporting the content. Is it this guy? I'm going to take this guy. Eh, Miria's fine. Uh, Arcane Artisan's fine. Maybe that's a thing we... Wow! I'm actually going to take the first sake here because we don't have an answer to things like that outside of like Council of Judgment and Blue Earring, so it's just nice to have. Plus, we also have 21 very, very playable cards right now, so I'm not really super concerned with uh, having playables. All right, well, still no. Oh, Ojitai. That's a, that's a gentleman. Hmm. Leshnorn and Glenelg Archmage are also a thing. So right now we're only fixing a Scalding Tarn, really. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know if we need any more finishers. <clears throat> I think I just like Glenelg Archmage here. I think it's. I think we could also just take the Bane Fire, which is kind of comical. I think Archmage is just a little bit better. Oh, Flooded Strand is nice. And there's not much I'm really super sad about passing. I like Sower, but Flooded Strand is pretty vital here. If we can get a Tundra or a Hollowed Fountain, I'd be grateful. I'd be so grateful. This pack's pretty unimpressive, unfortunately. 
Crowd around. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> oh, just I might wheel. It's possible. Uh, it's probably just part of the water veil. I don't think Sky Sovereign is that great. We also don't have a tremendous amount of ways to crew it with only eight creatures. Part of the water veil is fine. Probably not going to be uh, seeing much play from us. Gideon Ally of Zendikar is good. Probably better than the Johnny in this deck. And I think it's better than like Mother of Runes in our deck. So I'm going to take the Gideon here. But the Ajani on the sidelines for now, much to my chagrin. Brimaz is pretty okay. I don't care about Lo maybe I do care about Lotus with Sphinx's Rev and Marshall Coup. It's either Lotus or Brimaz. We're not gonna play Glorious Anthem or Lingering Souls here. We can get Brimaz back with Sun Titan, and it is a, a card that wears a sword pretty well. Alright, I'll just take the Brimaz. Come on, Tundra Hollowed Fountain one time. Well, I have a soft spot for old school Kiora, but... <clears throat> Glacial Fortress. Perfect. Just perfect. Opposition in the pack as well, but we're not an opposition deck, so. None of these cards are great. I guess Blade Splicer. I'm not sure I'd play it, but it is a decent card, especially with a Sun Titan. Hollowed Fountain. Okay. Now our deck is just crossing the threshold into perfection. Little little finger kiss there. A little muy bueno. So we need one cut here. It's probably Seeker of the Way, to be quite honest. Wow, Ojitai came back. Okay, well, now we need two cuts. <laughs> also, Riftwing is a two drop, so that guy can come over here. Crowd Wrath, okay, so, <laughs> funny thing. Wow, Sour came back. That's pretty cool. Um, funny thing is, uh, most of those subs were donated yesterday. So, so, the thing about Twitch is, like, you have to have a 500 subs for a period. You have to maintain 500 subs for a period of two months, right? Uh, most of the subs yesterday were, were actually crazily gifted. Um, like, 170 subs were gifted yesterday. Thanks to Josh, VS, and Thanos, which are, is utterly insane. Um, <clears throat> but um, if somehow I managed to maintain 500 subs for two months in a row, then I would get a better cut from Twitch. But currently, I think they're just going to expire at the end of the next month. Oh, Vivian Reed was added. That's pretty sweet. But we can keep our fingers crossed. Cultist of Hate, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the journey came back. This is the journey was the one thing I was like, oh no, I'm passing this for a good land. But then it came back and it was like, oh yay, I got it anyway. This is actually pretty good mana base. I'm a, I'm a fan. All right, we have 24 cards here. What are we cutting? You're going to go over here. Sower is great. Ajani is good. Forsake is nice. Journey is nice. Our, this is this deck is great. <clears throat> yeah, Tanos donated 137. Josh donated 35. It was pretty insane. I actually don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're actually clinically sane, either of those people. I think I think both Josh and Tanos are actually uh, not. I think they need to go seek psychiatric help. <laughs> I want to take the Marshall coup out. I think it might be great to board in, but I'm not sure if it's great just straight up. I like I like this deck a lot. Nope, you're staying there. Don't try to sneak in, a Johnny. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, good times, good times. Gifted sub is the same as a regular sub. Yeah, Taunus is one of like Taunus is actually just insane. He's one of the coolest uh viewers and uh consumers of content that I've ever seen. So one, two, three, four. These are all this is actually just the planes. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Sword could be good, so we're gonna keep the sword. We only have ten creatures, but we also have, let's not forget, we have Elspeth, which is creatures, Gideon, which is creatures, Elspeth, other which is creatures. So it's like 13 creatures. Oh, uh, I only wear black shirts. Yes, I have a closet full of, not a closet, but a, a dresser drawer full of black shirts that I, I find a shirt I like and then I buy six to eight of them at, the, at a time. So good question. Good question. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> oh, man. Chad, not everything's about you, buddy. Okay. God. I wonder if I took that Emrakul, if I can just go end of turn, discard an Emrakul, make a copy of Emrakul. This card actually seems very, very insane. Like, it seems like it does a crazy thing. Alright, so these are all blue-black lands. Or blue-white lands, rather. This is just a white land right now. So, yeah, we're actually just going to add like this. Alright, let's do it. I will play first. I will keep this hand. I fight with honor. Who is that? Tell me who that is. This is the best hand ever, actually. So, Tonos is actually, uh, as far as I know, Tonos is a software engineer at Microsoft. And yesterday he said... I got two special bonuses this year, plus a regular one. I don't feel like I deserved all that, so I spread the love. And I was like, that's one of the coolest things I could that could ever... Uh, I don't know. That's just crazy. Wow, that's pretty, that's hilarious. How did you even find that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so next time we got an Elspeth, unless they want to tap out for something cool. Like a, not a true name nemesis though, that's pretty scary. Oh man, you're just gonna, you're just gonna counter a thing, aren't you? I could use some love, got hit by a drunk driver with no insurance. Oh, Gamma Set, dude. I'm so sorry, buddy. That sounds miserable, dude. The Thanos snap on October. Yeah, no, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. It's going to be 180, so. Not going to be good times. So our opponent has played Ponder and Preordain this game. And I'm not going to not play Elspeth, so if they have Mana Leak, it's fine. They have seven cards. I'm sure they're going to counter it. Yep. As expected. Josh, I think I had a feeling from your profile that you were also in software so or you know computer stuff computer computer science under the computer science umbrella
All right, there you go. Let's go to the draw step. Sure. That was a good draw. Oh, and he resolves. Look at that boy. Are you interested in those Planeswalker Masterpieces? I definitely am, actually. They look great. If they're not foil, I'm interested. If they're foil, I'm less interested because I don't like the way foils affect things. Let's attack and see what we're going to do first. If we can draw something better. I'm actually tempted to just get Karmic Guide and reanimate. I think we're going to do that. I don't know if that's better than Control Magicking and Cyclonic Rifting. All of the <clears throat> all of the images I've seen of the cards don't look like they're foil, but I have to assume they're foil, which is unfortunate. Wait, why didn't they play this and then Flame Slash? Oh, they post a tweet to show off the foiling. Ugh. I still can't get over this Talrand, this Flame Slash first, then Talrand. That's funny to me. I guess they wanted to play around days. It's reasonable, I guess. I really want to deal with this guy because if they get to untap, if we play, even if we play Elspeth, they untap, they can counter like anything we have. I think this is probably safer. All right, we were afraid of, uh, also if they do have, if they have days themselves, then it's pretty good because they can play around uh, Elspeth and Sun Titan. All right. Well, that is a two for one. So was the flame slash. Cryptic command. Dismiss. All right. So now our Sun Titan has gotten better due to Jace in the graveyard. Nothing, huh? Okay. Put you to six. Do I think it would be okay if they reprinted Gilded Lotus? Didn't they just reprint Gilded Lotus? Yeah, either one of these you take, I'm fine with. Maybe they didn't, I'm not sure. I thought they just reprinted Gilded Lotus in, like, Dominaria. They targeted themselves. Oh.
Fantastic. We're having a good time. Ooh, man. Okay, so you have no cards in hand. Seems good. Wow, Sword of Feast and Famine does it, I guess. And we would have drawn planes. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Alright, so they have a bunch of burn, and they have a bunch of counter spells. Hmm. Mother of Rune seems like it could be good here. Hard to say, though. You can probably take out an Oblivion Ring. Yeah, this hand's not nearly as good as our first one. This is much better. I'm going to keep you on top because you are very, very good. Well, this has got to be an Emrakul, right? How have we been doing with it? We are currently up a game in the first round. Del Verino. Yeah, we had this discussion yesterday. I thought you were here, Josh, about the Ral versus Teferi discussion, how they're like... All these five mana, five loyalty planeswalkers are very, very similar. I mean, we just gotta keep running things out there until they. I mean, we know they have like 10,000 counter spells? Really? Well, that's fascinating. Mother of God. I did not think that was resolving. A Scrober is a Bober dad. That's true. <laughs> oh, Double J City. All right. Well, we're going to counsel's judgment. Your J we're going to give you this guy. And, of course, you take that guy. All right. So they're going to plus, which makes this guy worse. And I guess we're hoping you don't have Pact of Negation when you get Consecrated Sphinx. Because that's probably bad for us. Ideally, we can draw Force Spike before then, and then Teferi into Force Spike. That would be great. That's what we really want to do. <laughs> I do. I do have a, a feeling that they're going to be able to. Uh, find Pactum Negation and Pactum Negation our control magic, which is a concern. We do have Council's Judgment, but god, they're getting a lot of cards by that point. Hmm. 
I don't really want you to draw a card, I'm going to be honest. I do want myself to draw a card, especially because we have Sun Titan in hand. doesn't matter oh wow did he get around oh oh because it was never declared as an attacker oh that's great whenever a creature in stores attacks it doesn't it doesn't attack it never goes through the actual motion of going from creature to attacking creature it just comes into play attacking which is pretty amazing That was a, uh, a caveat I had not considered. Yeah, this seems like an easy choice. Oh, you're going to bounce him. All right. Here we go. Oh, that worked out well. I will draw two cards. Uh, I don't think I had Jace at all yesterday, so no. <laughs> you might be thinking of a different streamer. Yeah, that's a good one. We're having a good time. Oh, boy. I wish I had more instants in my deck. All right, seven cards to five cards. They have a car and we have a Gideon. That's a good one. I wonder what's under here. Undoubtedly an Emrakul. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Let's go all at Karn because Karn is a force to be reckoned with.
don't know if I care about that. We can always just like, we have to deal with this guy. Let the trigger resolve. So if you block here, Karn survives, but then you lose your Talrand. Fine. And Karn goes to three. Do they just have Emrakul in their deck because they have Sheldock Isle? That's interesting to me. Oh, what up, Mike? Good seeing you, buddy. Seven on board for a Karn. This could be anything. Uh, when I started two, I typically do about three drafts a day. So about five or six hours, depending on how long they go. Unless I'm also doing a modern video or standard or, you know, some kind of critique deck that anyone has provided me. Interesting. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not terribly frightening. I imagine you take Sun Titan here, but that's just my guess. Oh, our opponent's also in our in the chat. T A D D A M O O N N. They just extended their name cleverly. So that's cool. Hopefully I helped them with that Sun Titan suggestion. Hopefully, uh Hopefully that made things easier for you. So we pump you, you block here, three, four, five, six, Karn goes to one, or you don't block. Or we can just bounce this, kill the Karn, three, four, five, six, seven. I just don't understand the, the why you have to go into someone's stream when you're playing against them. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I 
Pretty sure we just want to get rid of Karn here. Well, it doesn't really matter if they're timed out or not. They actually haven't said anything, so. <laughs> Wild Mania, yeah. Wild, Wild Maniac, yeah. This will definitely be on YouTube. I never see you go Sun Titan. Well, that seems aggressive. Oh, there we go. Try it again. No? Okay. Oh, I guess we just win the game. Cool. See you later. We the people of chat mic demand swole bike return? I don't have any swole bikes, Matthew Ori. I don't actually own a bike currently. Is there a link to that modern deck you played when Music Mike was hanging out? Soul Sisters, no one prefer us. Uh, it should be on YouTube. I don't have the link per se, but it is definitely up on YouTube. I guess the sand is capable. It's loosely capable. We have things to do, but... I don't know. Like, if we mulligan to six, we're going to have... We're going to hope for three lands, three spells, which is just worse. Well, it's better, but I mean, like, it's... Having two less spells is not... It's not great. I don't know. Magic's hard, man. That's all I have. Okay, okay. Uh, so I actually, I'm a little more, I'm a little more uh, critical of Matthew Ori's typos just because it's funny. Because uh, he types from his phone and he, he, he always makes typos, which is comical. I don't think this guy's going to last very long, but realistically we have Sun Titan to get him back and we also uh, don't have much action, so... Bully Mike, oh my god. So this guy's dead, you get a token. Sounds good. Oh, not dead. Fascinating. Interesting. White. Oh my god, we're good at this game. I'm going to vote for this guy. We're going to attack because I don't think you're going to come at me. I don't think you're going to block, so... I'm also not blocking with this guy. Really? 
Rift Bolt. Banefire for one. Interesting. We're just going to block here and then Oblivion Ring. And then they have a suspended Rift Bolt that's not actually going to net them anything. Land one time. Just keep giving me these lands. Now we're one away from Ojitai. Yeah, this is pretty good. I feel like our hand has got to be a little bit better, right? Uh, they could have Bane fired for zero, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, that's just a cute nuance. Give me a land. Oh boy, Ojitai. It's your boy, Ojitai. This hand got real good, apparently. And now we have uh, Phantasmal Image in the graveyard for the Sun Titan. Yeah, okay, that was a that was a match. That was a game. I want to bring Seeker in. Take out the sword. It's a little clunky. So they're probably just like a burn deck. So we're probably bringing Mother of Runes in. Maybe a Miri Angel is better than something. Take out the control magic. I'll bring in a Miri Angel. Actually, Phantasmal Image is probably not great. I'll keep the Elspeth in. Elspeth is pretty, pretty broken. Yeah, this hand seems good. If they want to go second turn guy or third turn rabble master, I'm okay with force spiking it. Noble Phoenix, thank you so much, buddy. Long time no see. Glad uh <laughs> Glad to hear it. Vacation was very good. I just feel a little bit I have the post travel sickness now. I feel like I got a little minor minor cold. Oh. I'm just going to let that happen. Yeah, I don't care about that. And I had, I've had a headache since I got back on Tuesday, probably from traveling and dehydration, but nevertheless, not fun. Yeah, Blade Splicer feels pretty good against them, especially Flicker with Blade Splicer. So let's find out. Rabble Master one time. No Rabble Master? You're killing me here. Nothing? Interesting. Do we just wait a turn? Because they don't have anything, and then we get to keep up Force Spike? Yeah, we're going to do that. Because if they have, like, Hellrider or Koth or something, I don't want to have to deal with it. I'll just take one more point. They didn't have anything to play on turn three, so... Yep, that's what we want to counter. Hmm. 
I got would be good. I can't tell if you're being serious about that scotch comment. That's pretty funny. That's interesting. We're going to keep you alive because any land we get to play flicker. Well, not any land, but a plane's a white source. Cyclonic Rift is pretty okay. This is interesting that they... That they didn't kill the Blade Splicer, but I guess they wanted to get in there for a point. I don't know. Yeah, this is what we're afraid of as far as mana considerations go. If we had an extra, even extra blue, we could actually bounce our... No, we can't bounce Blades Placer. It's, it's permanent you don't control. No, oh, I see. I see what you're doing. You're going to do a little golem killing. Or you're going to go face. All right. Yep, they are... We need some life gain. That would be nice. Yep, that is fine. Oh yeah, that guy's getting bounced. I don't think we have an answer for that next turn, though, unfortunately. We got a four here? Ugh. Not ideal. That's good. We have to kill Chandra here. I guess we just play Brimaz. I think we're still dead though, right? No, we're not dead. We go to one. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, it's gotta be Brimaz. There's no other option. Oh, all right, cool. Must be nice. Yeah, bring in the journey. Let's take out the Elspeth. Legion's landing could just be fine. We'll take out the Sun Titan. Yeah, we'll try it like this. is a very keepable hand except for a second white but we do have a, a journey and an oblivion ring but they went to they kept on seven so that's kind of scary is that the tristan the the, the tsg i can't believe it i refuse to believe it bereave it Oh man, 
Good times. Good times. Long time no see, buddy. How you been? I'm probably going to get rid of this guy. Yeah, we'll use the Oblivion Ring because if we use... Um, if we draw a Planes, we can play this and the Journey next turn. For their... Uh, presumably for their... Yeah, I don't care about that. That's so aggressive. Four damage, huh? Okay. Come on, white mana. Okay, well. There's still a chance. Alright, missing land drops against the burn deck. Good times. Everyone left loot. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, we're having a good time. I'm enjoying myself playing Magic the Gathering. Oh, cube is good times. Oh. I'm having a good time. Cube is good times, he said, before getting mana screwed against the red deck. In before Hellrider. That's worse. If you're not a planes, we're dead. All right. Well, that was a fun match. Oh, the old still had all these. Good for you. Congratulations. Reveal your hand to the guy who had no lands. Seems good. Well, that was a fun interactive game of Magic where both sides played hard and made uh, strategic decisions. I had a good time. Hopefully you guys did too. Everybody wins. Except for us. I've been watching on YouTube for months. Figured I'd pop in the stream and subscribe. Maybe I'll use Twitter. That would be awesome. If I'm getting you people, you people, to use, you YouTube people to use Twitch more and support your favorite, your favorite stream boys, I'm okay with it. The only time I reveal my hand is by accident, too. I click it, and I'm like, oh, let's begin sideboarding. Whoop. Oh, it moved. The button moved. So now I revealed my hand to you. Fantastic. I will keep this hand begrudgingly. We are on the draw, and we get to suspend this guy. So, Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's going to be one of those days. This is, uh, this is it. Here we go. Here we go. I'll suspend a Riftwing Cloud Skate. <laughs> oh, God. However, if they do play Primeval Titan, this is a pretty saucy draw. Spoiler alert, it's always Primeval Titan, just to, just to be clear. Or it's going to be Acidic Slime. It's one of those two. Oh, that's neither of those things, and I cannot copy that with my Phantasmal image. This is worse. Land? Okay, you're a land. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to go Hollow Fountain. I don't like taking the damage here, but... Pro Green Sword seems pretty good against the uh, seemingly mono green deck. Six mana. 
Hangerback Walker. Bird of Paradise. All right, all these... This is not the worst. Although the Zagaric is problematic. It's actually pretty good when they have Hangerback Walker. But boom 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 So next time we can actually get this guy, equip it with the sword attack. They're definitely going to draw three here, I imagine. Oh my god, I would love to have the mono green opponent cast their far seek, and they're like, wait, why can't I get any of my lands? That would be gas. Yeah, this is the Q and Pete cube. No? Acidic slime? It's always acidic slime. Marari's Wake. Fascinating. Pretty sure we block and just make enough dudes to kill this Garrick, right? Alright, well they've F6'd. So, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we could Phantasmal Image copy the Riftwing Cloudscape and bounce another beast if we wanted to. And then play Elspeth post combat. That seems pretty good. Like, we have to kill the Garrick, unfortunately. <sighs> Four, five, six. Keep one up. All right, we could put it on here and then deal four to the Garrick. He goes to two and just makes a beast, and we just don't really care about that as much. That's probably better, especially because they have to discard their last card. Garrick, 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 your face. Tooth and nail. Wow. All right. We made the correct decision. And make a guy. All right. Seems good. Uh, Garrick Apex Predator is in this queue, actually, so... They do. Well, let's see what you top decked. Avenger of Zendikar, because of course you did. Come on, Council's Judgment or an Oblivion Ring. One time. Fascinating. Okay. All at Elspeth. Block here. Block here. That is not it.
Actually, we can get rid of it, though. That's pretty good. So, attack you, attack Garrick, or no, wait, hold on, attack your, f hold on, this is going at you, this is going at Garrick, 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 you, okay. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. We can just Sphinx's Rev for four. I think we just want the blockers, though. Oh, we actually wouldn't have untapped because we actually used the negative ability. That's just like the less common ability. That's actually fine. You're going to hit a land on, of course, in three cards. Yep, there it is. That's good. One, two, three. We have five blockers. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. So, at worst, four damage gets through. And our blocks are actually pretty okay now that you know Marari's Wake. So, now that you have Wake. Oh, we killed the birds, so they don't actually have white mana. That's actually a good point. I hadn't considered that. Because that's really subtle. Oh, no attacks? Are you just dead here? I think you might be dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you're just dead, right? You have no flyers, and you have one green mana. I'm not even going to use this, unfortunately. We could have tapped our land in response, but I don't think... I think they're just dead. Alright. Forsake the Worldly comes in. Journey comes in. Martial Coup comes in. Selfless Spirit can come out. Sword is pretty OP. Glow is probably very good. I don't like Force Spike here. Actually, on the draw, maybe it's good. Karma Guide does not seem exciting. I think we can submit 41. I'm fine with that. I like Sun Titan still, just because it gets back things like Phantasmal Image. Oh, I see. You're going to be like this. Alright. Mulliganos. Alright. Go to 5. Keep on 5. Oh yeah, we'll definitely keep that. <laughs> that sword's pretty important in this matchup. Oh, they have a green land. Oh, stop it with your 0.04 percentages of 41 versus 40. It's extremely irrelevant. No, well, I can't get that guy. Oh, that's that's going away. Magic Avocado, thank you so much. 
<laughs> really appreciate it. Yep, all this is fine. Four, five, six. They don't have enough mana for Tooth and Nail yet, unless they just Tooth and Nail and put two dudes from their hand into play. So I'm actually going to Glenelinch Archmage here because next turn we can go Sword, Equip, Attack, and then untap all of our lands, which is pretty good. Are they just Tooth and Nailing from their hand? I bet they are. Court of Calling, Green Sun Zenith. Whoa, secure the wastes. Main phase, secure the wastes. I'll just take two here. That's fascinating. <laughs> That's fascinating. All right, well. I am going to get rid of this Solemn Simulacrum here. Uh, sure. Yep, take six. Yeah, the bad thing is, like, they can play this during combat next turn. No reason not to play this first. And we're definitely going to counter it. I mean, we're not going to let them get five more tokens, so. Yeah, and we can block two of these guys. I don't really care about Blade Splicer at this point. Take four. Really? Uh, no. I think we're just actually making four dudes here. Like they're in top deck mode. I think they just wanted to get off the board. Like, they know I'm never going to tap out with Glenn or Archmage, so, like, now they're free to cast any spell they have. Like, I don't think that's incorrect. I'm tempted to just make four guys here. I don't think that's correct, though. I think we can actually just slow roll it. Like, I think we can take four next turn and be fine. But the problem is if they top deck uh, Mirari's Wake, we're just dead to that. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I'm going to play it safe. Like, if they have Mirari's Wake, we're dead. Shut up and take my money. 
Or if they draw anything that kills Oblivion Ring, we're dead, so. Not sure if you got my message yesterday on TGO from El Topo, but I thanks again for inspiring me to try cube just for myself and helping improve my card evaluation skills. Thank you so much, Penguin Plus. I really appreciate it. That's a good top deck. That's pretty impressive. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad I could help. Glad you could help. Glad everybody's helping each other. It's a very helpful day. What a top deck. Does Ojita just win us the game eventually? I don't know. They're just going to draw three, right? I think Twitch isn't blocked in a call center because they probably just don't know about Twitch. YouTube is super well known. Facebook is super well known. To old people who who have the decisions to block things like that, Twitch is not super well known. Here we go. Ragnarius, glad you could join. Good seeing you, buddy. Yep, I had a feeling you would draw three there. I just knew it. That's a good one. You net a mana here. You net two mana now. Yeah, glad we saved this Marshall coup. Yeah, this could actually be very good now. Yeah, all right. Yikes. That's obnoxious, but Ojitai is going to have hexproof when it's untapped, so you actually can never tap Ojitai. And you can't tap anything with a sword on it either, so that's pretty cool. Is it better to just make four guys and just kill them with an Ojitai in three turns, two turns? The thing is, like, if I make, like, six tokens, I don't actually care about the Ojit the, the Garricks. Like, we're just going to have five guys, they're going to have none, they're going to make two. And they're all going to be green and they have no cards in hand. And none of these get you cards. So you're in top deck mode. Yeah, but this is pro green and black. Why do I care about black creatures? Attack your face. And we get to hit a card here, which is super nice.
If it's Sphinx's Rev, we might just actually Sphinx's Rev. Ooh, Forsake the Worldly, huh? I'll take the non. God, I hate having to lose Ojitai, but we're getting five guys, and that's pretty good. Yeah, this feels like we're ahead. Hard to say, though. Like, we just... They go make two guys, sure. We, we try to put the sword on one, they tap it. We try to put the sword on the other, they tap it. We Then we put the sword on another guy. Then we kill their thing, I guess. Or we can forsake this. Also seems fine. Yeah, we, we probably forsake it first. Then they tap two guys. We put the sword on the guy they don't tap. Guy that plays base. I stuff didn't pop. I got you some Bezos bucks, medium fan. How come... Uh, up, don't pick what I pick, etc. How come you don't pick what I pick, etc.? Um, well, that's a, that's a difficult question. Thank you for the resub, though. I really appreciate it. Unless it was a regular sub? I think it was a resub. I know a guy that plays bass. I know about your bass playing ways. <sighs> like you do. Terastodon and Reclamation Sage. Get rid of O-Ring. Get rid of Journey. Get rid of Sword. Get rid of... I don't know, man. <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. I'm dead inside. Oh, yep. Oh, land. How nice. Imagine if opponent drew a land there. Yeah, what are the odds of that? I mean, their their draws were like regrowth, Genesis wave, uh, Garrick, Garrick, glare of subdual tooth and nail. Like, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. That's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, Burmaz, you are not gonna do it, buddy. Actually, Sower seems very good here. This doesn't feel like they have a way to deal with a Sower. Man, I got this from Marari's way. Claire of Subduals also probably needs to be. I don't know why you got a problem with Sun Titan. We have a lot of we have a lot of targets. And if they kill Sword, I really like having a way to get Sword back is pretty insane. We're going to take that out, and we're going to hope that the other two ways are good. I will keep this hand. Turn 2 Riftwing into turn 3 Jace is pretty good.
Sylvan Carrot Head. Overgrown Battlement. Hmm. Is Brimaz better than Jace here? There you go. Guy that plays bass. Thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It popped. Yeah, I think Brimaz is probably better than Jace here. Haven't been able to catch a live stream lately. I've been watching the drafts on YouTube. Just funny. Thank you so much. I am Valley Man. Really appreciate it, Bobber Dad. That's a sober scober to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, good times. I'm tempted to take this because now it makes two. Why didn't they? Did they? Yeah, they played this, then they tapped this. Okay. But this actually just one, two, three, four, five. This actually just negates a lot of their a lot of their options. We're just gonna steal this guy. And if they may play something better, we can flicker wisp it. So that seems fine. It's pronounced Bober. What did I say? Bobber? That's awkward. Yeah, that's a card I'm pretty tired of. I think we have enough power on board to just murder it right now, though. Oh, this guy just comes down? <laughs> oh, fantastic. What a time to be alive. Alright, Garrick, Garrick. Your face, your face, your face. Uh, your face. This is a good start for us. Hey, it's one more card. It indeed will win us more games right now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is not nine, which is good for us because tooth and nail is less effective. And we win the game. All right, that'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on YouTube, check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.